Hello and welcome to What I Am, a daily look at world, national, and regional news along with sports, campus events, and weather. I'm Brandon Martin. Des Moines Mayor Frank County is worried about a presidential visit at the same time the state of Iowa passes a COVID-19 milestone. Public health officials report Iowa has topped 100,000 confirmed cases of the virus. It ranks fourth among the states for its rate of infection. County says he's worried about the campaign rally for President Donald Trump at the Des Moines airport that it could become a super spreader event. Iowa has averaged 1,300 new cases a day over the last four days. More than three dozen people have died last weekend alone. The coronavirus pandemic could end up costing Americans $16 trillion. The Journal of American Metal Medical Association says their prediction includes a theoretical estimate for the value of human life as spread out over the next decade. The estimate also factors in the predicted eventual U.S. death toll from the pandemic that will triple by the end of next year. The authors wrote that COVID-19 is the greatest threat to prosperity and the well-being of the U.S. and has encountered since the Great Depression. Based on the current death rate, the study predicts the pandemic could lead to a total of 625,000 deaths in the U.S. alone. The Trump administration is keeping kids ready to learn by fighting hunger. The Department of Agriculture announced last week it will be extending free meals for students for the entire school year. Those meals will now be available through the end of June. The extended waiver also allows parents to pick up the meals for their kids. The free meal program normally runs through the summer when school is out. The department explains it's part of a commitment to make sure all children have access to the food they need during the pandemic. When we come back, Jason Moeller will have a look at your WIT TV weather and entertainment news. Stay with us. Western Iowa Tech's Video and Media Production Program has been awarded an Upper Midwest Emmy Foundation 2019 Student Production Crystal Pillar Award. This award was presented by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences for Excellence in Production. Even though there is so much against us, you will see me wearing a face covering. And even with my face covered, you will see me as a son, as a friend to everyone I meet, as a fighter for change, as a woman who stands up for what I believe in. So join me in wearing a face covering to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. Because this is one small act of kindness that has the power to bring us all together. Myth. I can party with people as long as they don't have symptoms. That myth is false. As we've seen, up to 40% of people who have COVID-19 are asymptomatic and can pass it on to others. So I'd recommend avoiding any social parties, especially indoor ones. If you want to try to socialize but reduce your risk, I'd recommend meeting outside in small groups, continuing to wear a mask, and socially distancing from others if you can. Then together, we can keep COVID-19 out of school. For ways to keep your community safe, go to backtoschooltogether.com. Welcome back. In entertainment news, actor Shia LaBeouf is putting on a live drive-in theatrical production about a coronavirus testing site. While LaBeouf does not appear in the show, Variety reports that 5711 Avalon features a blonde character who seems to have been inspired by the viral Karen videos as of late. The character refuses to wear a mask as she tries to get a test from a black woman, one of the testing site's medical professionals. The title is taken from the address where the show takes place, which inside which is inside a gated parking structure in South Los Angeles. All performers are masked and wearing PPE as they navigate through the drive-in testing facility. The production can host about 30 cars per showing. <clears throat> Save the Mexican pizza! Taco Bell fans have started an online petition to do just that, describing the item as important to the heritage of Indian Americans. It calls for everyone to buy as many Mexican pizzas as possible to drive up their numbers as well as sign and share the petition. Taco Bell says it gave the Mexican pizza the send-off it deserves with a tribute on Instagram. It has no plans to keep it. Taking a look at today's weather. Today will be sunny with a high near 66 degrees with wind gusts as high as 25 miles per hour. Tonight, there will be increasing clouds with a low of around 50 degrees. 
and tomorrow will be mostly sunny with a high of 72 degrees and the winds will be between 20 to 30 miles per hour with some gusts as high as 30 or as high as 40 miles per hour. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. Have a great day.